If you guys want to follow Al, he's going to show you guys where you need to put your stuff. Okay. So I need everyone to raise their right hand, remove their hats, and repeat after me. I, I agree, agree, agree to have fun. To have fun. fun. And everyone grab the rope. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> with kids, we just hope that we can do things on a smaller scale. With men, they've lived, they've had more experiences, and there's more things that we can pull from. You know, they have the ability to think big picture so that we can be more complex. Uh, and we can challenge them on a much deeper level than with kids. You know, with kids, we hope to give them simple truths. With men, you have deeper, deeper truths. You know, the initiatives are always going to be the same. Uh, but the value of the debrief at the end is all, all very different. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. I believe before we do anything is to analyze our material and see how it works. So we've got three ropes that come three ropes and it's supposed to stay vertical. We're going to need uh, 12 people to hold the top I side. I tell you first, this is the bottom. That's the bottom. Okay, I'm guessing that it might work if we have if we have four groups of people. Okay, one short group of people holding the bottom ropes at this side, a second group of people, the taller ones hold, holding the top, and the same on the other end. And then we can just walk it through. I'm guessing I'm one of the taller people. Matt Neal is one. Tino. And Nixon and Edmund, who's taller? And Nixon. Yeah, Nixon. So we can have Tino and Nixon that side, you and me this side for the tall people. So let's try and get it off the ground and see whether it'll stay vertical. Okay, there's a problem. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why it's tilting this way. You're pulling too hard, and I think one of these don't roll it up. I think there's a danger to over plan as well without actually doing the task. So, shall we try? Shall we lift it up from here and just go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. Right. Find the boundary. Yeah. Aye, this is awesome, lad. I can do this for whole. This is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, nice so it. let's change sides. Watch the boundary. Don't step on that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. Come up. I saw air. It's all air. All right, guys. Go back. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? We're not just really rushing, it. but just trying to just be more efficient and doing it better. Can I just say something? I don't think faster is better with this one. I think the faster we go, the sloppier we get. <laughs> oh, did I see it? Did, oh. did I see it? No, no, did. no, no you didn't. No, no, because you can't see. Are you sure? Yes. Are you absolutely one hundred percent sure? Uh, the air is invisible. Give yourself a clip. Your new objective is you're going to have to get someone sitting on the toilet. Now we're going to give a pass. And you guys are gonna have to use these ropes. Uh, my man. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to use these ropes. You're gonna have to transport him from the, this cone to the cone that he placed down there. Uh. The rules are, everyone has to be on a rope. Mm -hmm. The rope has to be pull, pulled tight. Mm -hmm. And everyone has to be behind the knot. There's no grabbing in front of the knot. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Also, the Cosmos in the seat can't touch the ground at all. So once you lift him off the ground, you can't place him on the ground until he gets to the cone. 
No, no. <laughs> he cannot lose contact with the seat. Uh, and got to stay in contact with the seat at all times. Yeah, you know what? For this one, what we're going to need, he cost us this small, but it's not going to be easy carrying him. So I think the thing we need on this one is a lot of strength. So we're going to have to position our strong man at each of the four points, obviously. So Tapiwa is man. Could I add, hmm, let me, let me add one more rule. You are not allowed to talk anymore. <laughs> and neither are my instructors. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, well, Basil, that's going to uh, kill you, buddy. <laughs> we'll do that um, right now, buddy. Right now. Let's see what you do. With the leaders, sometimes you have to learn that you've got to listen. And if you're always talking and hearing yourself talk, then you're never listening. Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> what? Can you signal? Be I'm fine with him signaling. Yeah. Spread out. <laughs> right on your floor, you know? Right on your floor. <laughs> we should have taken their calls at the beginning of camp. <laughs> oh, you've seen the dick. This is called Sekwa. I did. You know what I was thinking? Uh -huh. Ask guys in front. What we could do is. Make sure we put him there just to lift him. This, these guys in the back, they have like to, watch him, to pull yeah. this rope to make sure he's up. These guys will co coordinate with us, the ones in the back. Because at least if you put by the shoulder here, we have height. At least the front stays up. Then these guys in the back will be pulling this way. You have to realize that you don't always have the best plan. That other people have great ideas too. We need to keep those, and take those ideas into consideration. Even if if you can't speak the whole time or you can't lead, you're still hearing that other people have a voice and that other people have great ideas. As soon as we lift him up, guys, we huh? walk. One, two, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Fast. Let's go. Okay. 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 Keep going, guys. Keep going. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Together. Together. I'm good. Okay. Okay. It's our pleasure to announce that we are going to be doing the pamper pole in the dark. What is the pamper pole? You're going to need some pampers. And so your objective is you're going to climb up this pole, you're going to balance on the top, and you're going to try to jump out about seven feet to grab a trapeze that's hanging in the air. And we're gonna be doing it in the dark. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, let's go, guys. All right. How come everybody's looking at me? Okay, so what happens is we clip on the rope. Okay, let me try to get it stop shaking. Go. All right. All right. Oh, 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 Jumping! <laughs> oh, jumping! Yes! Yeah. Put your second leg on the pole. Stand the on the pole before you jump. Yeah, that was it. Let you walk up out of my Guys, I feel the Lord giving me a message. I need to come down and write a new sermon. Can I pull on this a bit? I don't think I'm going to put the legs up. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, give me some snacks. Give me some snacks.
I'm going to go up and then immediately jump. All right, okay. All right. Okay. jump back. Yeah. 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 lights up on top of that hill and just gives light down in the darkness of the valley. We need to remember as men that we are to be like a light on a hill, a beacon for those people that are in the valleys, the darkness below, so that they have something to, to come towards. And so our example when we go from here is like that light. So remember men who are a light in the darkness. 